Okay, since what I want to make are some fun things for New Year's Eve, the first thing I did was go to projects or on this open page, I'm actually going to go to my projects, use the drop down arrow and go to Cricut Access. When I'm there, I'm going to type in new year and hit the magnifying glass or the search thing. Then when I come over here, I see some New Year's Eve photo booth fun stuff. So looking at this when it comes up, it says 2015. I don't want that. And it tells me everything that I need, which I'll basically have everything I need. Uh, the thing is though, instead of doing make it, I'm going to customize it first because I don't want it to say 2015. Now wait a few moments for it to come in. here they come and I can scroll over to see where that said 2015 but it looks like they've changed it to 2016 okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this thing and right click and ungroup so when I click on this I can either right click and ungroup or I can come up here to the upper right hand area and say ungroup now if I ungroup like this, suddenly I can't see the text of 2016. So what I can do is click on this and I can either go up here to arrange, but to me it's a lot faster just to right click and move to back. Okay, I'm still not seeing it. So this must be another layer that's in front of the text. So I'm going to right click this one and say, move it to the back. So finally, I can see the 2016. I'm going to right click on it or not right click. I double clicked on it and down below the text box comes up and I simply have to change the six to an eight. Hit enter. And it's ready to go. So then I can just save it if I want to or I can go directly to make it. And now it's sorting my mats. That's how easy it is to update a project that may have been made a couple of years ago to reflect this year's date. So anyway, Happy New Year. Thanks. Bye.